Well, you can go on a prehistoric adventure this weekend. Dinosaurs, big and small, are taking over the Duke Energy Convention Center for Jurassic Quest. Local 12's Catherine Robinson is live, getting a look at the lifelike creatures. How's it going, Catherine? Hey, Perry, they are seriously so lifelike. We've been exploring around here. There are also so many activities that the family can come do today. And I'm joined now by Josh Cardenas with Jurassic Quest. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I said I was going to ask Josh about his favorite dinosaur, and you have it right here. I heard it's a popular one. It's a uh, Spinosaurus. It's uh, massive. Uh, it's got a huge uh, sail on his back, huge fin. Uh, walked on land and lived in water as well. Uh, ate fish, ate meat, and just massive size. It was the largest one before T-Rex came around. Um, it's even bigger than T-Rex, but kind of didn't exist at the same time period. Right, and so this, you can see, is one of the largest dinosaurs that we have in here. And I want to bring Brittany Morgan in now because this shows you she's got one of the smallest dinosaurs that we have. This is Tina, a baby T-Rex, and I think she's trying to eat my microphone or something earlier. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about some of the babies that you have here. So we have about three different babies um, that we show the, di the babies, the children too, sorry. We have a T-Rex here. This is Tina. She's about eight months old. Her favorite food is chicken nuggets. So we did teach her to train and we're gentle with the kids. We also have a Triceratops named Trixie who she's about six months old. She doesn't have her baby teeth yet, so there's no worry about no nibbling or anything. And we also have a Camarasaurus named Cami. Now, all the dinos are a little crazy, so they do like to have fun, but we like to bring them out and introduce them to the, to the children and interact, and they can meet the kids, the babies, too. So. And they are so adorable. You said Tina's about eight months old, right? And so, of course, the kids can come hang out with the dinosaurs, but there are also some other activities happening this weekend, too. Yes, we actually have one that's super popular that not many people know about. We have giant walking dinosaurs. So we have two seven-foot dinosaurs that they can come and interact, and they're a big green one. We have a Dilophosaurus and a Herrerasaurus. So the children can come up and meet them. So they expect the babies, but then the big dinosaurs come out. So there's really such a variety here. Tina is adorable, as long as she doesn't eat my hand here or the microphone. But you can see babies, big dinosaurs, activities, all kinds of stuff to do here. It gets started at 9 o'clock. You can come all day today and tomorrow. For now, we'll send it back to you in Studio Perry. What a fun event. Thank you, Catherine. You can buy your tickets ahead of time online, and we have a link for you on local12.com. Just click on Get It Now under the